With the big story behind me and a breakthrough in this long-awaited takeover bid of Newcastle United by a Saudi-led consortium. It's all because the Saudi state have resolved their issues with being sport over illegal streaming of Premier League football in the country. Now, what we know is that the deal still needs Premier League approval, but significant progress has been made on this deal which would end Mike Ashley's ownership of Newcastle United. Now the prospective takeover has been ongoing hasn't it for a long time, 18 months in fact, but it's believed that an agreement could be reached very soon indeed. Uh, we've got a, a live with Keith Downey coming up soon as well, he's at St James's Park for us and we will be getting reaction here on Sky Sports News uh, to this story as well. But let's just take you through the timeline. Mike Ashley's been owner of Newcastle for around 14 years. He took over back in 2007. Now, Ashley rarely speaks publicly, but in one of the few interviews during his time as owner, uh, he revealed he'd not stand in the club's way if a potential buyer attempted to purchase the club. And it had to be the right potential buyer as well. Right, let's get live to St James's Park. As promised, uh, this has been a very busy man this afternoon. It's Mr Keith Downey, who's up in the North East. Uh, Keith, thanks so much for coming on live this evening. Uh, tell us, what is the very latest you can? Yeah, Pete, thanks very much. Uh, welcome to St James's Park this evening, where there is a, a growing belief that this takeover, led by Amanda Staveley and backed by the wealth of the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia, is close to being pushed through. And that is because, as I heard you alluding to just a moment ago, uh, developments today in the Saudi state where they resolved their issues with the sports broadcaster uh, being sports over the illegal streaming of Premier League football matches in their country. That's something that's been going on for the past four years. Being sports essentially has been banned in Saudi Arabia and it's cost being sports, with who have of course links to the Premier League as one of their official broadcasters, it's cost them money and that uh, has been resolved today, which was a big hurdle regarding this takeover. It's my understanding that there are further hurdles that are still to be cro uh, crossed, but it's a big development in this takeover story. A takeover story which you only know too well has dragged on for a, a long time now. Some 18 months we've been talking about the, uh, the consortium led by Amanda Staveley potentially taking over here at Newcastle United. As we stand here on Wednesday evening at nine o'clock, it looks to be a, a big step closer to finally being completed. Yeah, it's been an incredible day, hasn't it? Following developments and uh, hearing what we have throughout the day. Uh, but still, we, we have to find out where we are at this moment in time and look back at last time, Keith, when this all uh, fell apart and was halted. What went wrong then? What's different this time? And what still needs to happen in order for this to finally be pushed through this time around? Yeah, well, they still, Pete, they still need Premier League approval, the consortium, and that's what we're waiting for this Wednesday evening. That's something we need to remember as well that the consortium needed last summer. It was the thing that held the, the deal up. They wanted to, the consortium to prove separation between themselves and the Saudi state. The consortium were unwilling, unable to do that at the time. And you remember the last day of July last summer, the, the consortium walked away. Mike Ashley brought them back to the table in the hope that a deal can be struck. Of course, he's taking the Premier League to court. There's that arbitration case lined up for the first week in January. We found that out last week during uh, the second part of his attack on the Premier League. We found out that it's been um, booked in for the, the 3rd of January, the first week in January. But if this deal is to be struck in the, in the coming days, in the coming weeks, in the coming hours, whenever that may be, it would mean that arbitration is no longer required. And that was the thing that we felt was holding up this deal. So it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, in, the, in the immediate future and the medium term future. But certainly this evening, the takeover of Newcastle United, the takeover the supporters have all wanted, the £300 million takeover by that Saudi-backed consortium is a very, very big step closer to, uh, to finally happening. Keith, 
You know what it's like to walk around the streets of Newcastle. You must get asked this question all the time about where we are in the takeover. I think it's four years, actually, since uh, Amanda Staveley first sat at St James's Park and there's been speculation ever since. How will the Newcastle fans be feeling this evening, knowing how close this one is? Pete, I've been doing this job in the North East as a North East reporter for eight years. Eight years ago last week, I took over in this role. For four years, I've been talking about this potential takeover. As I speak to you just now, just over behind my camera, there's a, a number of cars that have come up to park up and find out what we're saying this evening. Yeah. That because they are desperate for this takeover to go through. I think it has to be tempered, though. I'm quite conservative when it comes to whether this will go through or not, and that is because we have been here before. We were here last summer, uh, last April it was when we thought the deal was set to be ratified by the Premier League. We didn't see the issues with the owners and directors test um, and the consortium coming. We're back here again when it looks as though it's close. For the supporters it's all they want. The supporters voted on the Newcastle United Supporters Trust in the last uh, 48 hours saying they wanted the manager to go. I think the thing they want bigger than anything is this takeover to happen because Mike Hassey has been at this club for 14 years. He doesn't want to be in charge of it anymore he's happy to hand over the reins to someone else he thought he had a deal with the Saudis for £300 million last year and that is why he has been so insistent in trying to revive those talks over the last 18 months the supporters want something to believe in they want a new challenge they want the club to be challenging at the top again mm -hmm. they feel right now that they're just existing in the Premier League and trying to stay in that league year after year to ensure that the Premier League money comes in year after year so they will be excited this evening, but have to temper their excitement and say there are still a few hurdles that need to be um, gone over. And of course, we said that last summer um, that didn't happen. The consortium walked away. Um, but I must say, this does feel a lot more tangible tonight. And it does feel as though finally this long running 18 month saga, this 14 month tenure of Mike Ashley here at Newcastle United uh, is close to being over. And, and just the final question, Keith, the reason why people are turning up there right now this evening and the reason why so many people are contacting you, you know, yourself and Sky Sports News' official account on, on, on Twitter this evening and so on and social media is they want to know how close we are. Now, some suggesting there was going to be an announcement tonight. We don't expect that, do we? But how close is this as we stand here this evening? Yeah, I mean, that's the question everyone wants to know. They just want to know, is the takeover happening? And if it is happening, when is it happening? I'm afraid we can't give an answer to that. It's a very um, delicate um, situation, a difficult situation. There's a lots of things that need to be addressed, sorted out. And I think the Newcastle United fans have to be patient. I feel bad asking them to say be patient, given what they've had to go through, as I say, uh, for the last 18 months. They're desperate for this takeover to happen. I don't expect anything to be um, announced tomorrow, but certainly with the developments today over in Saudi Arabia um, and that agreement now in place with BN Sports, it feels that that is a huge step closer to this takeover finally being pushed through and the Newcastle United supporters will get what they, what they finally want. Okay. Keith Downey, thank you so much.